right shoulder again, switch position. And then this is a 20 miles per hour road, so you can increase slowly your speed. Mirror signal shoulder, move on the right. Cover the back brake. Brake, brake. Hello, this is the Silence S01 electric moped and it is widely considered to be one of, if not the, finest electric mopeds in the world right now. Today, I'm going to find out if that's true and also what it's like to ride an electric moped around the fair streets of London. Just one caveat, I don't have my bike licence, so I'm going to get it, today, while filming this video. This is one of the dumber ideas that I've had, we're just going to see what happens. So, this is the Silence S01, this is Antonio. Hi everybody. And this is Fully Charged. My intensive day of motorcycle training began within the confines of the school grounds, where I was taught valuable lessons like where the tyres are located, how to walk your bike like a show horse, and where to store your motorcycle gloves when not in use. My instructor Antonio was very lovely and extremely patient, and before long he had me riding entire meters on my own. Truthfully, having spent a good bit of time mucking around on motocross bikes in my youth, I was pretty confident about the whole thing. And sure enough, we sailed through the basic bike control section of the test pretty quickly. And then, all of a sudden, we were out on the road. And I'll be honest, it was harder than I expected. The level of focus and awareness required when on a motorbike is so much higher than in a car, and having to consider things like road positioning for the first time took a lot of getting used to. Even so, I loved every second of it and could very quickly feel myself catching the motorcycle bug. Anyway, enough about me, let's take a look around this scooter. Right, CBT ongoing, but I thought I'd pull up at the legendary Ace Cafe and just give you a little tour of some of the features on this bike, starting with its party piece. Now, one of the things about electric motorcycles is, well, they need charging, don't they? But a lot of them don't have fast charging capability and you don't really want to have to wheel the entire bike into your living room, do you? Well, the silence has that covered. Are you ready for this? This is so impressive, watch this. Removable battery, but in the most innovative way. I just pull that. Are you ready? Are you ready? And that's the battery of the Silence electric scooter. Bike stays outside, wheel it inside, plug it into your wall, wheel it out in the morning. I'm going to try and do this smoothly. It may take me a couple of goes, but let's see what we can do. Steady. Uh, huh? Oh, I've already... Oh, come on. Look at that. That's genius. That is genius. And this is a fairly substantial battery. I think it's about 5.6 kilowatt hours. It's a hefty boy. It weighs over 40 kgs. It's almost a third of the bike's total weight. And it provides around 70 miles of city riding. That's just an inspired piece of design for me. And it's so nice to A, not have to roll the bike indoors to charge it, and B, I think you're probably a bit less worried about it getting nicked having removed that battery. You could even sort of thread a lock through that gap and chain it up to something. This is genius. So a little context about Silence as a company. One of the sort of standout selling points of a Silence electric scooter is that it's European made. The vast majority of electric mopeds like this currently available are Chinese, not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's something quite nice about a locally sourced product, right? So Silence, Spanish company, they've actually been going for the better part of a decade and they sell, or well, they build 10,000 of these a year. This is no startup. They've been running a long time. It's just new to the UK. And a couple of perks of that brand in particular. One, 
app functionality. So you can connect your app to the scooter. It can show you your location. You can, uh, you can unlock or lock the bike. You can see a lot of metrics. And also, I think build quality is a bit of a standout feature on this particular bike. It's certainly, I've been told that it is. I've not ridden many bikes in my time, but I know what a nicely made product is when I see one. And this thing is really solid. There's no squeaks or rattles. The fit and finish is really nice. It is just a, a premium product. And it is a little on the expensive side as electric mopeds go. This will set you back about five grand or a hundred pounds a month if you're leasing, which I mean, in car terms is astonishingly reasonable, but for a moped, a little on the posher side, let's say. Let me just run you through a couple of the additional features worth knowing about the bike. There's not too much to know because it's a pretty simple thing. We've got a nice clear display here showing me my battery percentage. We've got our miles per hour. We've got our total speed and we do have a predicted range figure. Uh, I don't know quite how accurate it is or how well it sort of adjusts to your sort of riding. We've not been riding an awful long time today, but it's nice to have the percentage there. You can sort of figure out the rest yourself. Three riding modes. That's quite nice. We've got city. We've got sport, which I haven't tried yet. And we've got eco, which gives you a lower speed and obviously preserves your battery. We've got a horn, which works. Uh, headlights, those are good. Indicator, hazard lights. You can tell I'm very expert when it comes to motorbikes. And this is quite nice as well. I've been told that one of the big gripes with uh, electric bikes, electric mopeds, is a bit of a lack of storage because usually that's where the battery be. But as cameraman Andy will now show you, quite a lot of storage in this bad boy. You could definitely get two motorcycle helmets in there or a pretty substantial backpack. And that is a feature that's fairly unique to this scooter. The Silence S01 rides like an absolute dream. It's claimed to have the equivalent power of a 125cc petrol bike, but as with all EVs, it feels quicker than that, thanks to the instant torque delivery of that electric motor. In fact, if I have one complaint about the bike, it's how eager it is to go fast. Balancing it at 20 or 30 miles per hour requires a very delicate touch with the throttle. I had some worries that the hugely hefty battery pack might do weird things to the handling, but not so. Because it's located low down and right in the middle of the bike, it's no problem at all, and the SO1 felt balanced, nimble, agile, and easy to manoeuvre. It is just a lovely high quality product, and what really struck me by the end of the day is just how well electric power is suited to a little moped like this. Not only is it simple to ride, it costs almost nothing in maintenance and around one pence per mile in electricity. Best of all, being a bike, you don't have to sit in traffic jams. And let me tell you, as a lifelong Londoner, that's something you cannot put a price on. Concluding thoughts then, well I guess the first one of the day is maybe with hindsight, don't try to review a scooter while simultaneously obtaining your license for that scooter. That was one of those ideas that seemed better on paper. Actually quite hard work for CBT, even if you know the roads quite well, and I thought I did. I'd even ridden scooters before on my gap yard in Thailand, but uh, no, different kettle of fish, as it turns out. But really enjoyed this scooter, very, very impressed by this thing. I think mopeds, just yet another example of a mode of transport that are improved, enriched by electric powertrains, the silence, the smoothness, it just makes so much sense. And as for this particular scooter, the SO1, so much to like. The build quality is very impressive. The motor is seriously torquey. It feels very stable at speed and that removable battery design, I mean, mwah, inspired. I don't have too much else to say on it because, well, A, I've only spent a few hours on it and B, I've literally never ridden another motorbike. But we hope to fix that soon. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. We'll do more motorbikes going forward because there's a lot of them out there these days. Electric ones, that is. So there we go. The Silence S01. Please leave a comment down below. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have been, thank you for watching. By the way, just in case anyone's wondering, I did pass the CBT. Just.